28-year-old Salome Jordan has one goal in mind. I want to see that persons who need occupational therapy, who require occupational therapy, can get it. The, um, regardless of financial status, educational status, anything, that once they need the service of an occupational therapist, they can get it. Her dream was based from her own struggles to get the help she needed when she was younger, but could not afford. At just eight months old, the Maraval woman was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, a condition that causes motor disabilities. And despite its effects on her body, it never affected her mind. Walking upstairs, writing, all of those activities are affected. But um, my cognitive abilities, like understanding schoolwork, understanding instructions, it's just like everybody else. It's just the physical aspect that sets me apart from everybody else. After attaining her bachelor's, Jordan's thirst for knowledge never stopped. She is now pursuing her master's degree in occupational therapy to fulfill her dream of helping others like herself. I always saw school and education as a, as a way to improve myself and a way to help persons like myself. Because I've seen, I have friends who also have cerebral palsy and other developmental disabilities and were not able to have the opportunities that I had. Jordan, an only child, lost her father, the sole breadwinner of the family, two years ago, while her mother is now battling cancer. And although she tried many times to secure a job, she has experienced discrimination due to her disability. I would apply for many jobs that fit my qualifications. Um, we called for an interview. I would not disclose my disability in the resume. However, after attaining the job, I would disclose my disability. When it was disclosed, they would say they were called back or they would say that they have no need for the position to be fed anymore. The Jordans rely heavily on the stipend they receive from the Survivor's Benefit Grant, which they stretch as far as they can. But Jordan does not let this phase her. I never like to look at what I don't have. I like to look at what I have and what I can do with what I have. Because everybody has struggles. Everybody has to fight or find a way to accomplish what they need to accomplish. Her only advice to those looking to advance their education is to have faith. You need to believe in yourself and you need to um you need to know what you could do and try to persist no matter what the struggle is and try to find a way to pursue your goals. Anyone wishing to assist Salumi financially to pursue her master's degree can call her at 776-7162. Ambika Datu, CNC3 News.